Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Project Zomboid's debug mode and how you can use it to make some kick-ass challenges and scenarios for yourself with some relatively basic steps. If you do find the video useful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I post guides, gameplay, and tips for Zomboid every few days, so you can catch more of that right here. I also stream on Twitch every weekend if you want to catch some gameplay live at 12pm UK time at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Atomic Duck. Okay. Okay, let's get into it. So the first question you might have seeing this video is what the hell is debug mode? So that's where we'll kick things off. Essentially, debug mode gives you access to a whole bunch of commands that would usually be associated with admins or the old style cheat codes of many games past. It'll give you access to things like increased speed, unlimited carrying weight, being invisible to zombies and all that sort of good stuff. To enable debug mode, all we need to do is right click on Project Zomboid in our Steam library, select properties and in the very first tab, the general tab, will be launch parameters. Just type in hyphen debug and you're all set. Now before you dive in, one thing I would recommend here is that when you first use debug mode, not to use any mods at all. The more you use, the more likely debug will find an error or have difficulties. Sometimes commands will stop working, so it's just not worth doing in my opinion, or at the very least, keep your mod list light when using debug for the first few times. I'm gonna go over some very basic commands, specifically ones I tend to use in order to get some scenarios or challenges set up that will spice up your games. But I'll include a link in the description to the wiki page for the debug mode as well if you want a deeper dive. There's a whole bunch of helpful info in there. So now that we've set up your game, you can just go ahead and start a solo game as you usually would. And once you're in, you should now see this small icon on the left of your screen that resembles a bug or a fly. Clicking on this will bring up the debug menu. There's a whole lot of things in here that you can do and I'll leave a link to the wiki page as I mentioned but for the purpose of this video I'm going to visit a few basics that can help you set up some scenarios. Once you've got this debug menu open you can pause your game for peace of mind and still interact with the menu itself. The option reading items list will give you the ability to search items to give to your character in whatever quantities you desire whether that's clothing items to play the role of a character you'd like to play, some weaponry or anything in between really. This includes all of the items in the game and any modded items that mods are adding to the game which you have enabled. The next option we're going to look at is the ISO regions option on the debug menu. This menu allows you to see a map of your area showing you and your surroundings in a grid format. You can scroll in and out then use right click to bring up a small drop down menu. The main purpose I use this for is teleporting to a location of choice to start my playthrough. This will require a bit of familiarity with the map that you're using but there is an alternative here or a way to get familiar with the map that I will visit shortly. The debug menu will also have an option to open up another similar map under zombie population. Right click inside of the grid on this map and you can clear zombies or spawn them at will. Next up is the player stats menu. From the debug menu you can select players stats to open up another menu. This will allow you to add levels in any skill that your character can learn in game which is especially useful if you want to use carpentry to set up a base in advance of starting your scenario for example or train your character in using guns and reloading so that you can do a guns blazing playthrough. Those are just a couple of examples but having some skills before you start a scenario playthrough can really help sell the part of your character and sometimes gives you that extra leg up that you need to get creative. Last of the basics that we're going to visit here is adding wounds, blood or dirt to the character. Simply open your health tab as you would normally by clicking on the heart on the left side of your screen. You can right click on any body part for your character and add any sort of wound available in the game as well as blood and dirt. Again this can help set the scene for a scenario that you want to execute in your own playthroughs. Just as an example perhaps your character has started after a car crash and has wound up with several lacerations and a fracture. Finally and perhaps the most important of all you're going to want to set yourself up to be invisible to zombies and run at super fast speeds whilst in debug mode in order to allow you to get around the map and explore get to the location that you want to start your run and most importantly do all of that without being munched on by zombies. For this one we're going to press F11 once we've opened a game in debug mode. Once there we can click on options at the top left, select the cheats menu and then tick two boxes reading cheat player start invisible and cheat player invisible sprint. This will automatically give you these two features when starting a game in debug mode and you can also toggle god mode at the press of a key. 
So that's really all you'll need to know when it comes to setting up scenarios to spice up your games. And these are exactly the same types of commands that I use to set up the gameplay videos you've seen on my channel thus far. Just to give you some ideas of your own, you can try things like starting a six months later playthrough in a hospital with nothing but a hospital gown to your name. The inspiration for this one comes from Rick Grimes' situation in The Walking Dead when he first wakes up after the outbreak. Another you might see on the channel soon is what we're calling the Breaking Bad playthrough, where you start in a crash RV with some injuries and a hazmat suit. These are just a couple of ideas, but I'd love to hear some of yours in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see on the channel and what scenarios that you would like to see me play out. And once again, there is a link in the description to the wiki page for the debug mode if you want to dive deeper. That's it from me in this one, folks. Once again, a very special thank you to my patrons for the support for the channel. You can grab yourself some unique benefits by supporting the channel there, including a place to chat with me about your ideas for my content you'd like to see me do, unique Discord roles on our server, and much more. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.